What a brilliant, brilliant bounce back for Derby County. After suffering a 1-0 defeat away at Northampton last week, they came into this game looking to rectify the mistakes of previous games, looked to bring their clinical edge. Now, it wasn't the most brilliant game. It wasn't a game for the neutral, let's say. Blackpool had a lot of the ball. Derby had their moments. But it was Ibu Adams, the, the centre sign-in, from the January window, the big name signing that came in to do that job in midfield, to hold it up, to win the ball. And today, he's put one in the back of the net with an absolutely brilliant finish. I'm absolutely amazed with the finish. Completely honest with you, I completely think he's mishit that. But it's about time he put one in the back of the net. He missed two really good chances at Northampton. And for me, that was an excellent all-round performance for Derby County. Now, we talk about the starting lineup. There's a lot of talk around injuries over the past week with, obviously, the likes of Nathaniel Mendes Lang potentially being out. James Collins on his way back to fitness. Connor Washington the same. And to be completely honest with you, I wasn't 100% sure about the lineup. It was one that I went with personally. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below or in this top corner. We're trying to hit 400 subscribers by the end of April and you can help me do it with all this Derby County content that I'm publishing. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know your man of the match from today's game. Ibu Adams takes the mantle for me. Uh, in my injury video, which I uh, did a few days ago, uh, it was sort of like a 4 4 2, 4 2 3 1, um, with Ward out on the right, Mendez Lang in behind, Washington uh, and Corey Blackett Taylor on the left. Callum Elder looks to be out injured again, uh, but I don't think Paul Ward mentioned anything on his post match presser. Uh, but it, it's just one of those we made the changes we made, like for me. It was what we needed to do. It was the right thing to do. I thought Cashin and Nelson again today, absolutely excellent. Kane Wilson was brilliant down that right-hand side. I really like what Joe Ward does, bringing the ball into midfield, coming narrow, uh, offer an extra option in midfield. And it's just one of those things that I really like about him. And he really seems to be finding his form towards the back end of the season. And with the injuries we've got, he's really took hold of that position. And I'm really, really impressed. Corey Smith started in midfield today instead of um, Connor Horahan or Liam Thompson, which I was a bit um and ah about. But to be completely honest with you, I think it was the absolute right decision. Uh, Corey Smith did well for the 60, 70 minutes he played. We got 80 minutes out of Nathaniel Mendes Lang. And for saying that he was supposed to be done for the season on Saturday, that is an exact performance that we needed from him. Not quite setting the world alight, but... Let me get on to Corey Blackett-Taylor. Now, a lot of people have been in the air about Blackett-Taylor, but for me today, I think he showed us what he is truly capable of. He can go left, he can go right, he can beat a defender for pace, he can beat them with some skill. And for me, I thought he had an excellent performance today. It was just missing the final touch of a goal or an assist. But for me, absolutely impressive yet again. Obviously, got to give a shout out to Joe Wildsmith. Another clean sheet. And I think that takes him to about 15, maybe 16 for the season. I might be over-exaggerating here, but I'm sure it's that high. He's had a really good season in there, and I'm really impressed with him. I'm, I'm not glad that Vickers got injured, but I'm glad we've got Wildsmith back in there. I think it, it, it is the right call for me, having Wildsmith in between the sticks. Obviously, uh, we brought on uh, James Collins, so he made his return from injury. And... I think he spent the last six weeks with Bristol Rovers because he's learned the wardrobe from Chris Martin. It, there was a lot of moments towards the back end of the game where we were just messing about with it at the back, but James Collins picked up the ball, won a free kick, got it out, just what we needed to do really, opened up the space, just what we needed. Tyrese Fauna was back in and around it today now. I haven't seen Tyrese Fauna for a long, long time now. Don't know whether he's been injured or if it's been other problems going on in his life, but it's not for me to judge. I just want him to play football. I want him to enjoy himself and I want him to help us win games. And he came on today uh, and he was writing about a lot of energy. Um, won a few really crucial headers at crucial points. Now, we gave away a few cynical free kicks um, towards the back end of the game, but... It, it, it's one of those, you just have to go with the punches, especially at this point of the season. You've got to just keep yourself going, just keep ticking, keep ticking. Joe Wildsmith made an excellent save from a free kick. Uh, I mentioned him earlier. 
and for me, I don't know what more I can say about that performance. We're showing our grit, our determination. I'm very. It now looks back at uh, the Northampton game, and I'm very, very disappointed with that result, as I was at the time, because we could be sitting here right now. I believe it would be ten points clear. I think it'd be ten points clear because today Bolton Wanderers have drew nil nil with Stevenage. Portsmouth have ran away three one winners uh, at Wickham. Uh, Peterborough again dropping all three points to bottom of the league. Carlisle United, Lincoln City, I believe picked up all three points against Leighton Orient. It's been a very very shocking day in League One to be completely honest. Apart from the top two, everyone below them in that sort of promotion playoff battle has dropped points apart from Lincoln City and they now find themselves in sixth place it's going to be a mega interesting final few weeks of this season tomorrow I'm going to be doing a video uh, reviewing my predictions for the month of March so make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay around for that we're also going to have a prediction video for the month of April and can we get promoted or is it going to take to the final day? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. We've been doing some more League One videos as well. So if you want to stick around for them, they'll change to Championship if we go up or stay at League One, depending on the situation. So hit that subscribe button down below. Like this video. Share it to all of your Derby County friends. Let's get into some match day footage. <laughs>
make sure to go and find me on TikTok, pictured here, and Twitter, pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula One and football weekend.